Hello, I'm Ant Joblin and welcome to Trackstar Daily, the show that digs into the data and looks at what Wall Street's finest are researching online. Today's company in focus is GameStop, a 783 million market cap firm that is the world's largest video game and entertainment software retailer. The company operates 4,816 retail stores across the United States and in 15 countries worldwide alongside two e-commerce sites, GameStop.com and EBGames.com. GameStop sells new and used video game software, hardware and accessories for next generation video game systems from Sony, Nintendo and Microsoft. This stock has received a lot of attention from institutional investors on Wall Street recently, following a month that saw the stock gain over 100% in value. A big portion of that came last week when it surged over 40% after the company announced a new partnership to standardize its business on Microsoft's cloud-based software applications. The video game retailer is aiming to optimize its data insights into customer preferences and purchasing history, real-time information on product availability and promotions. However, some on Wall Street are starting to ask whether following a 300% rally from the April lows, the company has the momentum to keep the rally going. Looking at analyst recommendations, we can see two strong buys and two holds, which has progressed from four holds a couple of months ago. Price-wise, the stock recently surged to trade around levels not seen since 2018, and the range between $11 and $12 looks like it will play a key role in the coming trading days. On a longer time frame, we can see the 200-week moving average has provided quite stiff resistance to the attempt to push the stock price higher. In all, this is an interesting stock that is positioned to do well in the COVID-19 economy. However, there are as many question marks as exclamation points, so keep an open mind. That's all we have time for today, folks. As always, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.